I recommend the book because whoever translated it, it's just, it feels like you're walking on this like dream-like world and there are 10 different women who tell the story of how they knew Nishino, who's the womanizer, the seducer. He is sexually aggressive. However, he is mysterious and incapable of love. We come to find out why towards the end, but it's still ambiguous. We don't really understand it. I think I felt like I still needed an 11th woman to tell me a story of how she knew him, really. So it goes as far from, he was as young as middle school and then up until his death and then his ghost. So just throughout his life, women that knew him, either in school, work, whatever, wherever he lived, he would just like have sex with all of them really. And yeah, it, it like it almost, it was not romantic, but it almost felt like it. Um, and I think what I really enjoyed was being able to see how one person can love a whole bunch of different people throughout the course of their lifetime. And, you know, um, it's easy to feel like, oh, this is kind of it now. But in reality, just there's stages of life and love and all of that. So it, I don't know, it, the way she puts it together, the words, I don't know if it's the Japanese thing, but God, it's just beautifully done. It's written beautifully. I read a lot of reviews and a lot of women were like, that's toxic masculinity and he raped somebody and a whole bunch of other stuff. And I was like, okay, well, I get it. It's also a book, so chill. And I still love the main character. So you might too. So take a look at it. The 10 loves of Nishino. I like this guy. I, there, there are people like him in the world. I can attest to that. And they serve a purpose. He serves a purpose. It's not like any other guy. Most men are not like him, which is good. <laughs>